what's good, yo? It's your boy DJ Fanatic Beats, founder of SoundsForProducers.com. Welcome to, I think this is part three of this video. We're going to wrap it up of this beat. Uh, basically, building a beat into song format. I went over all the elements in the previous videos, the sounds I chose, some of the processing that I did, and whatnot. And definitely wanted to continue this beat and finish it up. And finish it up on camera, so that way you're kind of inspired and you can make something dope. Uh, it's on a trap beat side. It has some dark elements. I'm just going to kind of build out the song format and see if I want to do some cool things with filtering. Not filtering, like special effects or whatever. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed by now, click the bell. Actually, click the sub button first. Click the bell so you're alerted to no more new videos. And that way you can hear me stutter some more. But anyway, <laughs> more importantly, uh, you can hear me just basically cook up a beat and show you some producer tips, some techniques, also some inspiration and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, and also things you probably never knew you can do in FL Studio. And this is also transferable to other DAWs, digital audio workstations. You can take these ideas and transfer them into whatever you use. Shout out to my Ableton people, my Logic people, and of course my FL gang. And also reason out there too, man. And Cubase. There's some Cubase people out there. It's all good. It doesn't matter what you use to make music. Music's in your heart. It's in your DNA. And it it takes you to get it into the program and create it. So anyway, uh, it comes from you. So let's jump into it. Uh, let me start it from the beginning. See where I want to go. feeling crazy so i want to do like a little intro or some some type of filter option here usually don't do it use this plugin for a trap beat let me change the snap to grid to bar get that right on there cool and this is what i'm going to use i don't know i thought i'd just throw it on there uh i just got this the shaper box actually let's use that and see what happens Let's do a filter option, all right, and see what we want to do. Something simple. You know what? There's a way to. Wow, what is this? This is my first time looking at this, and I just got it. Um, I kind of want to like draw in my own thing. I don't know. Let's try that. That's cool. But I want it at a longer length. So let's try. That is one bar. So let's try two bars. So that's two bars. Let's do more bars. And I'm just. I haven't even looked at this. Or looked at any videos or whatever. Let's try four bars. Love it. So let's um, go back to here and create an automation clip with that particular sound over that duration. And let's um, and also initiate song with this position. That way it, it starts off. So let's start at the beginning and see what, how that sounds. Make sure I turn it off here. It's way too hard, so let me turn it halfway. And we're going to get a little crazier. Um, I'm going to add another uh, instance of something else in there. Let's do uh, some type of... Let's do some volume, and let's do a rhythm. Wow, those rhythms are crazy. I wanted something a little simpler. Trimming. I don't know what trimming is. Oh, basically trimming the sound over that. Uh, let's try a random rhythm here. <laughs> yeah, 
That's kind of cool. I want it a little more aggressive. Let's see what this sounds like. Might, might sound like some trash. so far you know what i'm gonna do though um is i forgot what i was gonna do it's crazy oh i want to favor that um sound so let's go to do that no cool go to effects and basically i want to favor it that new plugin and this is how you do it um where do i want to put shaper box probably in miscellaneous let's see if i have the old shaper box in there yeah it's in under miscellaneous so it's a shaper box too shout out to cable guys appreciate y'all y'all might want to check out that plugin and i'm not getting paid for that just letting y'all know um and there was no well i got a discount they give you a nice upgrade discount so I appreciate companies that do that. Uh, let's, and if I get an affiliate link, I'll put it in the description if I get one. Um, so you actually open a plugin. Damn it. Let's open it uh, another instance just in case. Because I don't want to save it with that plugin. Uh, and you can type in Shaper. There it is. And it should be a blank uh, slate. Yeah, see? And what you can do is go to this little drop down, go to, and with miscellaneous selected, go to, my bad, uh, where is it? Add to plugin database, flag is favorite. Boom. So what it does, see, Shaper Box 2 will be added to this subcategory, miscellaneous under effects. You click OK. You can close it. Actually, I can remove that, delete it. And it should be here under the other shaper box. See, shaper box two. And what's cool about that, now I don't have to search for it anymore. It should be under miscellaneous shaper box two. See? So that's how you do that in FL Studio. enough for me I want it just evil
piano. this unique because um, let's make it unique it just goes on too long and I want to make it shorter for that particular break So what I'm going to do is lower it more and see what happens. I do like that. first then the kick and snare Just put that there for now. Delete this and drag that right there. Let's listen to the whole second verse again.
bigger break right here at the end before the last chorus comes in. So let's just take the drums out. Change the snap the grid to bar and just highlight this last area and do uh, just a fade out for this particular beat. You can do different endings for different things. Actually, you know what? I'm going to see how it sounds without a fade out because I like to do some unique stuff sometimes. So let's see here and we're going to wrap this up. I'll probably master. I'm not going to probably I'm going to master mix this later tonight and finish the beat. But just wanted to kind of bring you along um, during the structuring process. And uh, there's other beat making videos where I'm mastering, so you can check those out. But I want to see how this ends. Oops. And where's that vocal? That... actually like the ending so we're not going to do a fade out that's cool and of course you know this actual piano metal melody, melody is from one of our loop packs so we have midi in there as well and you can manipulate it change it transpose it you know change the notes make up different chords and all that so that's what started a beat just some midi notes and i transpose it and just kind of built on top of it and created this whole thing all the drums are from our packs as well the hi-hat loop pack hi-hat loop is from our packs as well everything in this beat is from it so you know you can create endlessly you know you can take one sound and just go crazy with it and make a bunch of different things so anyway uh hopefully you enjoyed the video again it's dj fanatic beats founder of soundsforproducers.com and it'll be a bunch of loop packs um links in the description as well as the free loop pack and a link in the description as well and uh thanks for joining me and thanks for the love appreciate your producers you know supporting the channel supporting the packs and anything you post definitely sharing it especially is dope so anyway keep making dope stuff and hopefully you enjoy the video i'll see you at the next one peace